everybody, it's Paula from Real Polish Fanatic Blog and Jewelry by RPF. Thank you for stopping by my little corner of YouTube and spending a little bit of your day with me. I do appreciate you being here. Um, today we're going to talk about the Pantone color of the year for 2024, which is called Peach Fuzz. I'm wearing a orangey peachy colored shirt to celebrate the day and um, I pulled out quite a few polishes from my collection that sort of fit the bill. Some do, some not so much, but um, peach isn't a color that I buy a lot in nail polish. So most of these that I'm gonna show you today are older, discontinued, no longer in business, that sort of thing. So you won't be able to get many of them. Some of them are still available on eBay. That's, a, that's always a good place to look for older discontinued nail polishes. But so some you'd be able to find on eBay if you're interested. But otherwise, I just went through my stash and pulled out quite a few that I had. And I just wanted to share them with you today. So I'll go ahead and get the camera turned around and we'll get started. Okay, so Pantone's color of the year is called Peach Fuzz. And from their website, Peach Fuzz captures our desire to nurture ourselves and others. It's a velvety, gentle peach tone whose all-embracing spirit enriches mind, body, and soul. So as I said, I don't buy a lot of peach color nail polishes anymore. Back when I used to buy pretty much any polish, um, I did collect some. But uh, yeah, we'll just get started. On my nails today is sort of a, not a peach color. I thought it was a little more peachy in the bottle, but it's really just a baby pink. And I also wanted to show you this one because this company, Orosa, it was going out of business. And when I looked up yesterday to see if this particular color was still available, I see that they are out of business now, so you can't even get this one. I thought I'd have at least one that you could order, but, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but no, this company is now out of business also. But this is a Rosa Jador, and this is just a pretty, kind of a peachy pink. It leans a little too pink to fit into the peach category, I would say, but this was a good one. Okay, so the polishes I picked out today, I've already gone ahead and done one coat and two coats on my swatch wheels because just to save time, because I do have quite a few. And as I said, most of these are no, no longer available. So just to kind of get through these kind of quicker, I went ahead and already did all the painting. So we will just, uh, and as I also said, some of these are a little too brown toned to really fit in the um, peach category but we will see what I came up with out of my collection. And I have different swatch wheels today. These are kind of fun little flower shaped swatch wheels. But anyway, we'll start with China Glaze, Peachy Keen, and this is just the, I think this one fits the uh, color pretty well. You can see I have some ugly bottle syndrome going on in the bottle, which just means that the pigments are separating a little bit in the bottle and oftentimes no matter how much you shake those they won't mix back up but they don't seem to affect the um the color when you polish it on so we will not worry about that so this is peachy keen right here in one coat and two coats this was a pretty good formula went on very smoothly and the next two I'm gonna show you are old China Glaze polishes called In The Mood. And these were, <clears throat> excuse me, these were um, uh, thermal polishes that would change color depending on temperature. And I'm pretty sure that these have changed color. This was supposed to be brown to pink, but it is just sort of a peachy color. And the next one I'm gonna show you is the same it was supposed to be peach to petal pink, which is maybe a little bit closer. Of course, these polishes came out in 2001, so they're about 23 years old, and they do no longer tr uh, transition between hot and cold temperatures. But this one was brown to pink, and I think this one fits very well in the peach category. 
and this is one coat and two coats. And then the next one, which was peach to petal pink, has just stayed in this pretty peach color with um, gold shimmer. And that's this one in one coat and two coats. So they're kind of similar. The second one is a little bit darker than, than the first, but kind of similar in color. And the next one from my collection is an old, old China glaze. You can see this is the old bottle style. I, I don't know what year this actually came out, but I would guess 90s or early 2000s also. This one is called China Rain and it's a sheer. This would be pretty layered over something. But this one is um, a very nice peachy color. This is one coat. This is about three coats. I did a little bit more just trying to get some color to show up on this on the swatch wheel. And then next I have a couple Deborah, Deborah Lipmans, which are a little too light, a little too light to be peach, but um, this is kind of an, more of an off-white, but it does have a peachy kind of shimmer, if you can see that. This one's called La Vie and Rose. See if I can get that without a glare. There we go. And there it is in one coat and two coats. A little more sheer also. <clears throat> but that's a pretty one with the peach shimmer, so that sort of fits the theme. And next we have another Deborah Lippman. And again, this one also has this ugly bottle syndrome where you can see the pigments just won't mix back up, but it does not affect the polishing that you do. This one was called Naked. Let's see if I can get this again without the glare. It's hard to get without a glare, but there's Naked. And that is really just a little bit too brown to fit the peach fuzz theme. But there it is in one coat and two coats. It was very streaky in the first coat, but it did um, fill in nicely with the second coat. The reason I changed my swatch wheels to these clear ones was because some of these were so light colored that it was hard to see them on the natural swatch wheels that I usually use. I seem to have a lot of Deborah Lippman polishes that somewhat fit this theme. Here's a little mini, just to give you an idea of the difference in sizes. Here's the mini size and then the regular size Deborah Lippman. I used to buy Deborah Lipman polishes a lot. I've kind of gotten away from purchasing them for some reason. But this one is called Sarah Smile. And a lot of these uh, Deborah Lipmans are discontinued colors, but you can find quite a few of them on eBay, like I said. So um, this one also is a little bit, it looked a little more peach in the bottle, but it went on just a little bit more of kind of an off-white. And it's one coat and that's probably two or three coats there because it was quite sheer also. And then I have another one from Deborah Lippman. This is from the True Blood um, collection quite a few years ago. And this is called New Flesh. And there it is on the swatch wheel. Again, this was very sheer. You can see in that first coat, very sheer. Built up a little bit, but still quite sheer in that second coat even. And two more Deborah Lippmans to go. There's another one with very ugly bottle syndrome, if you can see that. So if you ever see nail polish uh, referred to as UBS, it's ugly bottle syndrome. And that just means that the pigments will not mix up. But once again, does not really affect the um, polish as you apply it. This one is called Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Let's see that. This is a very nice peachy color. There it is on the swatch wheel in one coat and two coats. It is still a bit streaky even after that second coat. A third coat, maybe it's these two here. I'm sorry. It's, it's, um, I had the wrong ones highlighted here. It was very streaky in the first coat, but the second coat you can see did uh, fill in very nicely. So that was tiptoe through the tulips. And my last, oh, no, I have one more after this one. I have this Deborah Lippman. 
from uh, quite a few years ago. It's called Million Dollar Mermaid. And this is a pretty peach with some red glitter. Let's see that. It's really pretty. It has a lot of um, golden shimmer. And this is this one. I like this whole collection that came out with these um, little glitters. That was a fun collection that they had. This is one coat. You can see it's very sheer. And then two coats filled it in nicely. That's another good contender for the peach fuzz. And my last ever Lippman, finally, <laughs> is this pretty glitter. And in the bottle, it's quite a bit pink, but why I picked this one is it does have these really pretty peach glitter. I don't know if you can, if you're catching those or not, but it has peach colored glitter in this one. So that was very fitting. And this was called Make Someone Happy, a pretty glitter topper. The glitter all came out very easily and uh, distributed very nicely. This has a really um, strong purple shimmer and then the um, peach glitter and some holographic glitter in there too. And I have an older polish from Fair Maiden. This was our first indie brand that we're looking at here. Fair Maiden polish called Sweet Honeysuckle. And that's this one right here. And this is a pretty uh, also has a little bit of that ugly bottle syndrome. You can see that a lot of the white pigment is just kind of stuck to the bottle and won't mix up, but does not affect the um, painting it on. This is a pretty one in one coat and two coats. Went on very nicely on the swatch wheel. And we're down to our last six. <clears throat> I have a couple here from Alama Squaw. This company no longer makes nail polish. They do still have some makeup and it is out of the United Kingdom. So I'm so I was sorry to see this brand go. It has some of my favorite polishes and uh, I was sorry to see them stop making nail polish. This doesn't exactly fit the theme either. It's a little bit too brownish colored, but it is called Pink Raindrops. Here it is on the swatch wheel. It's very pretty. It's kind of a mauve pink with um, some, it looks like some white glitter in there or something. But that is a pretty one and it went on very nicely. You can see one coat and two coats, but not peach. And then I have this one from Milama Squaw also. A little bit more of a peachy color. It's called Breathe. Even some of these you can find on eBay if you're interested. I don't know if these two particular colors are on there, but you can find some from the brand. And this is called Breathe. Very sheer, nice color. One coat and two coats. And then I have another brand. This one's from Australia and they no longer are in business. They no longer make nail polish either. Ozotic. Um, another brand that had really pretty unusual polishes back in the day and um, out of Australia. This is number 527. It's very similar to that last um, Elama Squaw Breathe, Breathe. Was it Breathe? Breathe. So those two are very similar. But this is the Ozotic 527 in one coat and two coats. Then I have one here from Pretty Serious, which I believe is also out of business now. You can see there's no ugly bottle syndrome with this one though. This one's in good shape still. Pretty Serious, this is called Peachy Poo. This is a little bit bright to be peach, but it is an orange color. Went on pretty nicely here, a little streaky in that first coat, but there it is in one coat and two coats. On my, um, on the camera, it's looking quite yellow. It is more of a light orange. Then I have a couple from Zoya. We have this one called, this one is a little confusing to me because this is called Stella, number ZP712. And when I looked up Zoya Stella to see if this was still available, it's a totally different color. It's no longer this peach color. 
and I couldn't find this ZP712. It doesn't come up anywhere online, so I'm not sure where I got this or how I got it, but this is this one, no longer available, I don't think, not sure. But Stella is a totally different color now. But that's a nice um, peachy, dark peachy color. Very streaky in that first coat, but the second coat filled it in very nicely. And the last one I have to show you today from my collection of Peach Fuzz inspired polishes is this other one from Zoya. And this one was called Zahara. And I do believe this one was still available on the Zoya website, so you could get this one if you like it. Pretty peach with um, kind of a pink shimmer. And it was very sheer in that first coat. It's still sheer even after two coats, but it is a nice pretty peachy orange color. All right, that was my collection of peach kind of colors and uh, or my uh, polishes that fit that bill. Some of them, some of them not so much, but that was a fun, color, fun uh, color to go through. May have to pick up some more peaches. I'm sure more companies will have some um, out and available this year since it is the Pantone color for 2024. Uh, what do you think? Do you own a lot of peach colors? Did you like any of these? Um, let me know what your favorite peach polish from your own collection is in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. So for now, I will say goodbye. We'll see you next time.